we now come to equilibrium <coughs> involving dissolution of solids or liquids in gases okay dissolution of solids or liquids in gases <coughs> now we know and we have been studying that if we try to dissolve a solute into a solvent okay say sugar into water then as we keep on increasing the amount of sugar a point comes where we can add no more sugar to the solution right so and at that point the point where you can add no more solute to a solvent at a given temperature is called a saturated solution right so the solution in which we we can add no more solute to a solution to to the solution at a given temperature at a given temperature is called saturated solution okay it is called saturated solution fine saturated solution we also know that if we increase the temperature then we will be able to add more solute to it that is more sugar to it fine so the 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 amount of solute that can be dissolved in a solution is dependent on temperature okay and the maximum solute that can be dissolved at a given temperature is called the solubility of of that that solvent okay of that solute okay in a given solvent the maximum the maximum amount of solute solute that can be dissolved in a given solvent that can be dissolved in a given solvent at a given temperature at a given temperature is called the solubility of that solute now the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a given amount of solvent okay per liter say okay because as you start increasing the amount of solvent the amount of solute that can be dissolved in it will naturally go up okay so in a given or or, or in a fixed or in a fixed amount of solvent at a given temperature at a this is solvent okay solvent at a given temperature is called the solubility of that solute okay as we increase the temperature we know that the solubility goes up okay so the solubility the solubility increases with increase in temperature and a wonderful thing happens if we have been able to add two more teaspoon or tablespoonfuls of sugar if we have raised the temperature by say 30 degree centigrade we have heated the solution 
then a wonderful thing happens the moment you let it cool and come to the ambient that is if it falls down by 30 degrees centigrade exactly that amount of solute will crystallize out of it okay so as the temperature decreases as the temperature decreases the excess solute crystallizes out crystallizes out of it okay it crystallizes out of it fine now this equilibrium the 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 thing that there is some amount of suppose suppose after it has reached the saturated state i add two more tablespoon at the same temperature and i know that they will not get dissolved because the solution is already saturated but then the, so so it seems that that sugar is not dissolving and it is static but again let us emphasize let me emphasize that this is a dynamic equilibrium okay the if the solution is saturated and we add some more solute to it the solute doesn't seem to dissolve in it in spite of in spite of stirring okay so what happens the equilibrium is again a dynamic one it is a dynamic equilibrium so what happens what happens here the rate of dissolution of sugar is equal to the rate of crystallization of sugar okay so the rate of dissolution of sugar so so maybe the sugar in in the solution state is in equilibrium with the sugar in the solid state so so it means that the rate of dissolution is equal to the rate of crystallization is equal to the rate of crystallization okay fine so so what happens actually is is that say say this is a sugar cube maybe we have dropped and this is all the saturated solution this is the saturated solution so what will happen what will happen is this what will happen is this some some sugar particles from the solid tend to go here and say tend to shoot like this like this okay and and the opposite thing of the sugar coming out of the the sugar coming the 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 sugar which is in the solution state okay that strikes the surface and recrystallizes as a solid and both these processes will be equal at equilibrium now this is not some hypothesis that we are talking about and it has been seen by putting some radioactive sugar into the solution okay so so some radioactive sugar in, into the solution 
if we if we put if we drop radioactive sugar in solution this state of equilibrium is readily observed is readily observed so what happens what will happen is this if if we drop some radioactive sugar into this then initially the solution is not radioactive right the solution is not radioactive initially the solution is not radioactive now as we add more radioactive sugar so that i push the solution to saturation what will happen we'll find gradually the radioactivity increases the radioactivity increases and reaches a saturation level and reaches a saturation level fine and then it will become no more radioactive okay radioactivity as a concept we'll study later for now you should understand that radioactivity is a concept where the the radioactive material emits radiations and becomes more stable the radiations could be an alpha decay or a beta decay or a gamma decay and it occurs because of the instability of the nucleus of an atom fine so and it reaches a saturation level and, and so so that tells me that no more sugar is coming into it or if at all something is coming into the solution some of it is going back from the solution to the solid state fine